Hey, what's up everyone? This is Zareen with Zarina's Guides and I'm here to talk about what the Upix is Upland talking about. Zarina's Guides is here to give you that explanation on Upland's proposal and advice on how to proceed. We're going to talk about how things work in the Upland, how Upland wants to change it, and the pros and cons of voting yes or no. So let's go ahead and get to it. So right now, there's a few things. We'll talk about how things are, okay? But there's also some things in Upland's white paper that kind of should be important on why we, how we talk about what the status quo of things as well. So in Upland's white paper, it actually specifically states that its payment streams and inflation are des designed to support game operations and a sound economy. So Upland's initial white paper stated it was already sufficient for support of game operations and a sound economy, at least they thought so. So in its white paper it says, Upland payment streams and inflation are designed in such a way that they benefit and nurture general gameplay, create a sound economy with a trusted currency, support daily operations, further develop the platform. To simulate, to simulate sorry, a more realistic economy, Upix tokens are pre-inflated where $1 equals 1,000 Upix. Initially, 100 billion Upix have been minted and allocated to two pools, which are called the Upland Pool and the Community Pool. So here, as you can see, that 100 billion was divided equally. We got 50 billion Upix in the Upland Pool, and then we had 50 billion Upix put into the Community Pool. So what happens is, all right, so you're like, what's going on with all this money? So if you can see the little llamas at the bottom there, you see those little llamas I got on my screen. So one llama's got some dollar bills flowing towards the sack of grain, you know, getting fed. It's paying Upland for that grain. It's like the Upix is coming from Upland, from its reserves, its Upland pool. You see its little, Upland's got its little stacks of grain over there, this, its sacks of grain, and it's getting the money for it. That's how things work right now. So when people buy Upix, when people pay USD for Spark or Upix, that those dollars are going to Upland. But when they buy the Upix, the Upix is coming out of Upland's, it's Upland's little pool. So remember, it only got 50,000, or sorry, not 50,000, 50 billion Upix. And as time goes on, it's, it's not getting any refill right now. So if it empties, Upland will have to mint more Upix because no Upix is flowing back into Upland's pool. Only dollars are flowing Upix, or sorry, Upland's way. Only the dollars go that way. No Upix goes actually back into its pool right now. Whereas on everything else, basically, so when pay players are paying fees, um, those, those Upix, that's going back into the community pool, back into that 50 billion Upix that we already had sitting there. Um, when properties are minted, those earnings are also going into the community pool. So again, adding to what we had, Payments made to players, however, and property earnings and collections and one-time bonuses, things like that, those come out of the community pool. So the community pool doesn't just get bigger and bigger. It does actually, stuff flows out of it as well as into it. All right, so that's kind of a little bit of a difference. So players are paying fees, goes into the pool. Um, players get collection bonuses, pool pays out. So it has a back and forth in a flow and an exodus, all right? Unlike Upland's pool, which just simply has an exodus. It just, it just kicks out. All right, so that's how things work. So what does Upland wanna do? And why does it wanna change the system, all right? So right now, what we're looking at is right now, the proposal would say all the Upix that's sold, that would come from the community pool. So you can see how I've switched the sacks all over towards the community. All those Upix are gonna be with the community only. Upland is gonna to continue to get paid from Upix and Spark cells. So any new Upix that needs to be minted, it goes go into the community pool, not into Upland's pool. There's no more Upland pool with this proposal. Instead, all of the Upix is in the community pool and when it's sold, it comes out of the community pool. Everything that's been coming out of the community pool will continue to go into that pool and everything that's been going into that pool will continue to go into that pool. So it's like, or continue to come out of that pool, all that same. All that will stay the same. The only difference is now, anytime Upland makes a sale of Upix, it's also gonna come out of the community pool rather than its own batch, which will, I believe get allocated into the whole pool. All the Upix is gonna be one, one community pool. So what's, 
what's the problem? Is there any problem with this? Or is there any benefit? What's going to happen? So let's talk about a little back, back up a little bit, back to that white paper, okay? Because the white paper, the text of Upland's white paper implies that market forces, property supply and demand was the reason Upland players would not have to worry about excessive inflation and deflation of the UPEX token. To quote it, it says, for Upland's economy, it is paramount that UPEX is perceived as a stable currency by its citizens and, well, the Uplanders. They should not worry about excessive inflation or deflation and shall trust the price fluctuations are driven by market forces, hence by property supply and demand. So this is the thing is that we, ha we, we have to see right here that Upland has already kind of planned for potential inflation. It does seem like it, that was on its mind and that what it, what it perceived as a way to handle that was going to be that things would work by, you know, property, property supply and demand, market forces driving that. So we get some talk about decentralizing and how if we go with Upland's proposal, um, ultimately we might see um, decentralization and like more decentralization occur um, so that players can actually have some more control. And so looking at that word, what does decentralization mean? We're talking about the transfer of control of an activity or organization to several local offices or authorities rather than in one single one. This means like giving the control to the players is what you think about it in metaverse terms, all right? The whole idea of Web3, giving, giving the players the control. So centralizing versus centralization versus decentralization is addressed in Upland's white paper. And one thing it states that we want to keep in mind says Upland continuously strives to optimize the monetary policy so the overall cost for its economy will be minimized. In general, there will be a mix of centralized and decentralized decision making. There are strong arguments to start off with a more centralized monetary policy, including game decisions, as long as the economy is at its infancy state to cope with a variety of aspects. So those aspects are the unknowns and also things like people trying to trick the system. So it's basically like right now, Upland wants to maintain some centralization to, to look out for Upland, to make sure things don't go wrong with inexperienced players making bad decisions, um, you know, uh, infancy, you know, we're in our infancy. So the problem here is there isn't actually no indication of when, um, Upland might hand over that control and become us become less less centralized. But here in Upland's proposal, it does seem that they're saying here's a way now that potentially one day we'll see this move towards more control in players' hands. So players might be thinking, well, why why do we care if we have a lot of Upix in our pool? Like, what's the big deal? So I actually think there is no big deal if our community pool continues to grow. Um, I actually put the, the, the Uplands response on my, other, my next slide for this. But the idea is that Upland says that players may um, want to handle things differently, but we'll talk about that on the next slide. So I think nothing will happen actually um, because <laughs> there may be more players who want Upix given to the community. That's a possibility, but will they have the control to demand it? So not currently. Right now, as it stands, Upland maintains complete authority over how much of the community pool is given to players. So without any control in the players' hands to demand, you know, more Upix be given to us, there really isn't an actual inherent threat to letting the community pool grow bigger that I see. So what if Upland mints more up to fill its pool. So probably nothing there too. But this other part is supposed to go on the previous slide, so I'll just say, I'll let you know that. So Upland has stated in the future where the community has more control over the economy, an overinflated community pool may lead to decisions about subsidies or payment streams that may not be beneficial to the overall economy. And then I have, however, per Upland white paper, Upland has already planned for its economy and expressed that its current pathway is a way to create a healthy economy. So if Upland sees anything wrong with the economy, Upland will step in to address the issue as it did in the past when it believed Manhattan's prices were too high. 
There are ways such as lowering sales taxes on property sales for upland the slow growth of the community pool to address any potential negative inflation. So that's that's kind of like what I think. If upland mints more of its own coin for its pool if it has to, I don't see um, I don't see inflation really as a true consequence that it will naturally occur because players don't have any control over that. In fact, Upland has all of the control. So I believe Upland would continue to protect Upland. And as it has stated, that's why it has a mixed, a mixed, um, like decentralized and centralized because it wanted to protect us. So I don't believe it would allow uh, any type of negative consequence to happen to players with its current control is my point. All right, so what are the benefits of voting yes? All right, if you vote yes by paying Upland with the community pool, perhaps um, if and when Upland decides, one day players would have the control to hire a different operator instead of Upland. So if we didn't like what Upland was doing, we could potentially have a vote and all the players decide we're gonna pick some new person. Maybe Meta becomes a huge operator and people are like, yeah, we want Meta over this. And that would be a potential Thing that we might be able to do as players like basically just vote and decide who, on a new operator that's the one thing I've seen um, announced is like you know potential more control so that's that's just it we might be able to fire this person over here but even if we did we're still gonna be paying that next person out of our community pool all right so what are the benefits of voting no Less chance of the community pool being depleted or jeopardized, albeit Upland has stated it would meant more Upix as a remedy. So perhaps nothing really there. Maybe it's not really a big deal if you vote no. Um, however, um, oops, is this Karonk? If you vote yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, sorry, I'm right. Okay, so what was I doing? Sorry, I think I got my thing. I was going to say less chance of players, but I don't know what what it, what was it going to be. No idea. Um, but the <laughs> the issue is right down to this. Okay, so we'll, <laughs> I'm sorry about that slide. I, I was thinking of something, but I guess I didn't. I didn't really come back to it. Oh, you know what it was? It was. Let me go. Well, I'll go back real quick, and I'll just say right here. There are some players. These players right here. Less chance of players losing losing um oh yeah i don't know then you vote no you don't want to change it can't come up with another one i forgot i got so sorry i forgot what my idea was all right but back here <laughs> so here's here's where i see it boiling down to really is this question because ultimately the benefit we're talking about is more control over hiring a different operator or more control in players hands so Ask yourself and find out, because this is, this is probably a, a, a good catch point here. Can Upland give players voting control over hiring a different operator without changing the economy? So if Upland can hand over control to players at its discretion, and that will be making the answer yes. So if the answer is yes, players do not lose any potential benefits by voting no. So if they don't want things to change, um, there would they wouldn't be losing control potentially being in their hands if Upland could still, without changing the economy, decide we're giving you the power to vote to change the operator. Now, if the answer is no, if Upland can't give over that control without changing the economy, players who aim for having something to you know vote on and they want to actually fire Upland, they want that control one day, they want to aim for that and they think that this is the only way they might get it, then for them, that this, this would be a loss if, if they don't get this, if they don't get that possibility. So from well, this potential that Upland is saying it's going to have. So if you are in the party of wanting to have control in players' hands and you feel like Upland is really trying to navigate to give you that way by voting to change the economy, then definitely you want to go ahead and vote to change the economy. Because if you vote no, you're giving up that potential of ownership um, that, that Upland is saying it's gonna give you down the road. 
So that's what I see there. Um, I hope this helps. If it's confusing, I'm sorry. If you want to leave comments, do so. Please subscribe, hit the like, share it with your friends, and don't forget to join the UMPC Discord. I'm going to try to update it update the link hopefully it works today but on the umpc on the umpc discord in the post the topic channel there is a thread going on discussing these these potential changes and people weighing in on what to do so definitely hop over there to get your view in there and or to listen to others and form a view of your own take care people see you in upland